Hey guys, it's Bob here, that Scottish drummer, and man, it is cold in Scotland in December. I've even got two jumpers on. But anyway, let's get into this. So you might be like me and not have updated to the latest Mac OS, which is Big Sur, um, because you know, you're smart and you know things don't work at the beginning. So what we're gonna be looking at today is which Focusrite interfaces are now working with Mac OS Big Sur. And we're gonna take a deep dive into this because this update is especially important because Mac OS Big Sur is actually Mac OS 11. And we've been running Mac OS 10 since 2001. So this on its own is a pretty huge update. But now coupled with Mac OS Big Sur, which is Mac OS 11, we also have Apple Silicon MacBooks. So we can run Big Sur on both Intel MacBooks and Apple Silicon MacBooks, just to add to the madness. <laughs> so that makes it difficult for us people who have audio gear and we're not sure about what works because now some things work with Intel, some things work with Apple Silicon, which we're gonna look at in a minute. So today we're gonna look at Focusrite's main interfaces, which are the Claret, the Scarlet, and the Sapphire. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I have the Claret 8 Pre USB and the Sapphire Pro 40, which is Firewire. And I know a lot of you out there have the Scarlet. It's a really popular interface. So we're gonna take a look at this now. What is good practice if you're using any audio gear, whether that's hardware and your interfaces, you know, any plugins that you're using as well and software, you know, before you update, you should go to the manufacturer's website and just check and see what they say, what they recommend about doing. Usually, they recommend not to update right away, to hold off for a month or two. So right now, it's been about six weeks since Big Sur came out. So it's about the time a lot of you guys are gonna be looking at whether or not to update to that. I find Focusrite to be really good at updating their website and support. So we're gonna have a look at Focusrite support to see what they say and um, take a deep dive into that now. Okay, so we're on the Focusrite Help Center here. I'll just refresh this. So this is what loads right now on this page. And we're gonna click on compatibility with Mac OS 11 Big Sur on Intel-based systems. And now you can see there's a big exclamation mark here that they want you to see this. So this is an article for Intel processors and there's another article for Apple Silicon. So that's good to know, we'll come back to that. Scrolling down. It's just telling you some good practices to do and some troubleshooting, which is nice. So here we go. Scarlet, yes. So all the Scarlet range is working, that's promising. Here we go, Claret USB range, yes. That's nice. And if you experience graphical issues, install beta, okay. The Thunderbolt range, yes. Okay, that's good. Plugin suite, okay, that's cool. Wow, the Sapphire Firewire range, yes. Sapphire Mix Control 3.9, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back to this section here um, and read the article on Apple Silicon. Wow, this was updated eight days ago. So, Scarlet, yes. However, they're aware of compatibility issues with Focus Right Control. Okay, yes, yes, they're all supported. Claret, USB, yes. Again, issues with Focus Right Control. Red plugin suite, yes. Claret Thunderbolt range, no. Now, this kind of sucks because I was considering upgrading my Claret 8 Pre USB to the Thunderbolt, but I will definitely not be doing that if it's not supported. Scrolling down, you can see the Sapphire Firewire range is not supported. So I have a Pro 40. I'm sure a bunch of you guys have these as well. So that's kind of sad to see. They did announce before that, you know, they were on their final update, but sad to see. So it's a little bit confusing having two different um, pages on this. So I've made a little table myself to show what is and what is not supported. However, this isn't the end of the story. Apple have done this transition before from one chipset manufacturer to another. Back in 2006, they moved from PowerPC to Intel, so they know a thing or two about what people need to 
stop everything becoming a mess. So they have an emulation software called Rosetta 2. And this allows you to run apps that are made for Intel on Apple Silicon. So if we scroll down here, here's Apple's support page themselves. So Rosetta 2 enables a Mac with Apple Silicon to use apps built for a Mac with an Intel processor. So in theory, the Claret Thunderbolt and the Sapphire Firewire range should work with a Mac with Apple Silicon running that software through Rosetta and it should all work smoothly. I've reached out to Focusrite about this, but I'm still waiting on a response for them. But I would be really interested if anyone out there has managed to get this up and running. It should work in theory, and I don't know how long Rosetta 2 is going to be around. I don't know if there's a time limit on that, because I know within two years they're phasing out all Intel Macs and you can only buy a Mac with Apple Silicon, but I don't know if Rosetta 2 is around for the long run. So this is definitely something we need to keep an eye on. All right, so to wrap this video up, it is nice to see that Focusrite are supporting their three biggest interfaces at the moment, which are the Claret and the Scarlet and also the older Sapphire. I really appreciate that. I'm sure a bunch of you do as well. Uh, I have an Intel Mac, so I am okay to update to Big Sur. These Apple Silicon Macs are really throwing a spanner in the works here, but I think with the Rosetta emulation, then we should be able to run the software no problem at least at the beginning and you know I'm sure Focusrite are gonna make a software that is specifically gonna run on the M1 Max. So should you update? If you have the older computers, yes. If you have the newer computers, no. But they come out of the box with Big Sur. So it's a tricky situation. I guess if you have an older computer, just don't buy an Apple Silicon Mac just yet. Um, it's gonna give you quite a headache, I'm sure. Uh, but I am pretty confident down the line, you know, Macs are used by audio and video professionals, like, it's almost a standard. So, they're gonna be supported, it's just a matter of time, and hopefully it's not too much longer. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, I've been really digging into this and trying to find out what I can. Um, it's a bit of a minefield, Focusrite support still hasn't got back to me. But if they do, I'll update that down below uh, in the description of this video. So as always, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.